17 days out, 17 days out. And as Nigel Farage points out, the big exclusive interview we've got coming up in the fourth hour with David Knights, who did the interview with him. We only heard like four or five minutes of it, and it's, it's, it's powerful, but the whole interview is going to be aired. His warning to America. This is just the beginning of the fight. And, and that's why the globalists realize their whole new world order is falling apart. The EU's falling apart. Russia's pulling out. The UK's pulling out. Catalonia's pulling out. Africa's figuring out what's going on. Uh, so much is Latin America. They're panicking. Their global system is in trouble because it's a system that wants to make us poor to control us. That's in the WikiLeaks. But, I mean, people are like, well, we always heard that from you anyways. Exactly, because it's in Cloward and Piven, and, and it's feudalism. It's keep you poor, keep you controlled. It's sharecropping. It's, it's soft slavery. Now, I'm not going to belabor this. Obviously, you need high-quality, storable foods. I've got them. Solar panel systems, you name it. Infowarsstore.com. The highest-quality, storable foods. Fresh-packed. Last 25 years. If you haven't got storable foods, you're nuts. If you don't have... AM, FM, emergency radio with shortwave that's crank-powered, solar-powered, you need one, we've got it. Non-GMO heirloom seeds, styro safe in case of a nuclear attack, protect the thyroid. Our Survival Shield Nation on X2. Gravity-fed water filters. We don't sell firearms, but you need them. And I'm not trying to fear-monger here, folks. I sell what I take. I take super good selenium, we put it out. I, I take good iodine, we put it out. I take good multivitamins, we put it We fund ourselves with the highest quality products that everybody needs, and then you shop with the good guys and it builds this infrastructure, and you see us hire more reporters, get more done, have Hillary and Obama attacking us every day now because we're in their face. We're not scared of these people. We're scared of them having their way. So thanks for supporting us, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We can avert all this and this brinksmanship because a lot of good generals and people in government are actually, and I've never been somebody to kiss the butt of the military or even the FBI, but as I got more informed and as the world changed, I've seen better resistance from police, the military, even FBI agents who are leaking stuff, Secret Service agents, than I've seen from the general public. I mean, that's just a fact. So that's why they want us to have a civil war against them and wipe out their opposition, just like Hillary funded people to go dressed as Bernie supporters. They said mentally ill people and alcoholics and, and, and drug addicts, like I told you. It's in the WikiLeaks now. We had it from the Chicago police, though. To then go in and attack Trump people, blame them and blame Sanders, who's not in, you know, involved Hillary. It, it's simple war, folks. It's simple war, and the public's got to figure this out. You're under globalist attack. They're crazy. They've never been defeated so far, so they're delusional like Hitler or Napoleon. It's, it's crazy. And as usual, history repeats, they go where to start the big war, Russia. Where's the one place they haven't gotten full control of? They go in there to have a big pissing contest. But now there's nuclear weapons. We have to stop this. Folks, if Russia was doing things to us, I'd be calling for war. They're not. The same globalists that are screwing us are screwing them. That's why we're natural allies. We don't work for the Russians. We work for not dying. We work for being decent. So InfoWarsStore.com, get the products. 25% off Brainforce right now. Sign up for auto ship. Get 10% off. Free shipping on orders, $50 or more. And look, now is the time to be all in. So please spread our links, our videos. I mean, I can put it on screen right now. And we're going back to our guest. This is a video I shot this weekend. I, I work seven days a week now. My family's like, please, Dad, where are you? Well, they don't, you, kids, normally I'd be here, but you, you, for the nuclear war, we're dead, probably, so I got to do this. I mean, that's what's happening right now. And I put out a video, emergency, war declared on Russia by Soros-controlled U.S. I have another video that I shot from home that day where I say we are now technically at war with Russia. The exact words, I'm just pointing out, folks, I don't play games. I know what I'm talking about. Top British general warns of nuclear war with Russia, the end of life as we know it, claims Moscow plans to march to the Baltic states. Senior British Army officer and former Deputy Supreme Allied Commander of Europe, General Richard Sheriff, warns that NATO forces uh, faces nuclear war with Russia in Europe, close quote, and that America is already technically at war with Russia. In a hawkish article for CNN, he asserts that the West faces the biggest threat from Russia since World War and that Vladimir Putin plans to reestablish Russia's status as one of the world's great powers by marching into Baltic states. They're starting wars in Baltic states, seizing Russian infrastructure they paid for and giving it to, to Joe Biden's son. So he tells the truth about the state of war, but then blames Russia. Soros brags on CNN with Fareed Zakaria that he spent billions and that he did the whole deal. So take action, ladies and gentlemen. Now, going back to James Wesley Rawls, I should point out survivalblog.com. I'm going to talk some, I'm gonna back soon to talk about his novels, but there's always too much big news breaking. What do you make of this? Because I'm asking the questions. Instead of me asking the questions, you're a smart guy. What is on your radar? What else should we be worried about? They're clearly trying to stage race riots. They're trying to destabilize things. What is their plan? Because 
I mean, we know it's consolidate power. The new WikiLeaks are out where they want to create a global government and consolidate control. I mean, but, but, but what's the point of having all this money if it's radioactive and you can't come out of your bunker? Well, I, I think that the – you mentioned consolidation of power. I think that's probably their next step. If they can get Hillary Clinton into office, I think their goal next will be to consolidate power by muzzling journalists on the Internet – not people like you and like me, and by uh, completely co-opting, as you know, they're they're well on the way to doing it already. But completely co-opting all of the mainstream media and coercing them into full submission, where the only information that's going to be available will be information outlets that are going to be parroting the, the party line. I think that's their real their next goal, because they won't be able to con the American public into supporting another world war unless they have full control of the media. And I think their goal will be to shut people like you and me down. And only a world war gives them that excuse. Well, yeah, it either it'll take either a global economic collapse or global war for them to be able to justify in the eyes of policymakers and the generally dumb public of instituting a one world uh, system of uh, passport control, a one-world currency, and and so forth. The, the entire their entire agenda, they can only justify that given a major crisis. And again, it's going to either be an economic collapse or global war. Because they want to play out their end game, and the only way they can get there is by rolling out the big guns. Now they're doing that though on a previous plan that the future battle space hadn't been affected by you and countless others, you know, the thousands of great people and the millions and millions taking action, spreading the word. I mean, when I mentioned how many views we get now, it wasn't to brag, it was to say, how do they deal with InfoWars having 5 billion views, 1 billion on one channel, but 5 billion conservatively, when I was told by the vice president of YouTube a year ago, I mean, it's, it's more than that now that we were probably the biggest thing on YouTube because we allow ourselves to be on anybody's site, we don't control it on purpose. I mean, how do they deal with 5 billion views on YouTube how do they deal with our videos now routinely getting 20, 30 million views? I mean, every week, one video, which has got devastating intel and, and hardcore paradigm-shifting information. We're just one outlet. How are they going to deal with the fact that we have a press conference that we covered with Danny Williams and the thing's got 30 million views? doesn't matter. The media ignored it because that video alone had as much views as, you know, uh, almost as the debate itself. I mean, it's just how are they going to deal with that? And even if they try to take it over now, People now already know who are going to wake up. So if they bring in serious tyranny, that just confirms everything and hardens the public. I mean, we've got a giant awakened mass of people now, probably 50, 60 million that are hardcore. I don't see how they, I don't see how this dog hunts. Well, uh, I think that they, they're, at this point, the only thing they can do is to try to completely silence us by removing us from the, from the Internet, by shutting down whole chunks of the Internet if they have to. And, and, of course, our countermeasure will be uh, its kind of like a, a distributed – it's kind of a corollary to the distributed denial of service. It's the distribute, distributed assurance of service where your site, my site, and so many others will be mirrored around the world, just like WikiLeaks has been mirrored. Uh, the reason that WikiLeaks uh, has been able to get the information out there is because it's with the sheer knowledge that they have backed up everything – and put things on multiple servers all around the world so that um, taking down one of them will not uh, stop the signal. It won't silence their message. And we've got to go to that right now. We've got to, everybody's got to copy and duplicate and save info for the long haul because this could get really serious really quick. Absolutely. In fact, what I would recommend that your uh, viewers and listeners do is get hard copy DVDs of all your movies, for example, all the documentaries that you put out. Because if the Internet, as we know it, goes away, there's going to be a, 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 a huge thirst for knowledge out there, and it's going to be fulfilled. That, that thirst is going to be filled by physical distribution of those documentaries. And, and I've been trying to teach folks between patriots. the power of hanging up banners, just printed out around town, uh, you know, the power of going up billboards and, 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 and spraying revolutionary information or resistance info, micro FM, jacking into their systems. Right. I mean, folks don't understand history. When real tyranny comes in and you've already got a stay-behind network ready to fight, 
everything we do will be solid gold to the public. And, 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 and the enemy, I think, is really miscalculating. I don't think they realize what we've been doing for decades in preparation, trying to stop them, trying to save the country, trying to stop the New World Order, and then it almost skids over the finish line dead on arrival because even if they try to bring this in, it's going to just blow up in their face. Well, you're right, Alex. And um, uh, one thing I, I, I want to mention is that I recently took a cross-country trip by road. And I cannot count the number of InfoWars bumper stickers I saw all across the country, small towns, big towns, out on the interstate. It's, it's almost ubiquitous how many I saw. People are waking up. They can't stop the signal. I just can't believe that this is actually happening. Are, are they crazy enough, do you think, with this top British general calling for war with Russia right now? I mean, these people, what is wrong with them? It's really hard to calculate what what their their desire. I know we know what their their goal is, but to see what steps they're willing to take in the interim is hard to calculate. Studying Russia, you know about their history. I mean, what do you expect to happen? I, I mean, obviously Russia's not going to back down, are they? No, I don't think they will. But I think that if the Russian government is as wise as and and seasoned as I think it is. They're going to refrain from physical attacks, and they are probably going to only operate in the information sphere and the cyber warfare sphere. They will refrain from physical attacks because they don't want to escalate. That. And that's making, well, sure, so the globalists are getting mad. They've been trying to push them into a physical, you're absolutely right. So, so what will the globalists do to try to push them into it? Well, I think uh, Syria is a prime example. If... The U.S. government and its allies instituted an no-fly zone over northern Syria. Uh, it could very well uh, get into a situation where we're literally have American uh, missileers shooting down Russian aircraft. That's a yeah. You, it's it, it's. I, I don't know how to sum up how dangerous that is. How close that could bring how almost the certainty of World War Three if that starts happening. Right now, uh, in Syria, everything's being handled by proxies, uh, proxy armies, proxy guerrilla groups, uh, foreign funding of and, uh, foreign weapon shipments. But it's not toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Russians or even with the Syrian gover government itself. It's all being done through proxies. If we take the next step and have direct conflict that is the, the pinnacle of brinksmanship. And it's not like we're doing this against some super evil thing that, you know, deserves to be faced down. Uh, the, I mean, Russia's reforming compared to how evil our leaders are and what they're teaching our kids. Russia's going in the opposite direction. They've even had WikiLeaks and State Department cables, how Hollywood's demanding we take over Russia because of what they're teaching Christianity. That shows how whacked out our government is, that they're willing to risk World War III so that we can, you know, sexually basically brainwash Russian children. level of, uh, of inversion in our society is, is almost hard to believe at this point. Everything has been turned on its head, where um, our, our traditional allies are now being looked at as enemies. And if it's almost something like something out of George Orwell, where you, you have the, the enemy du jour for the sake of, of the consolidation of power. It's, it's um, a situation that is not unprecedented in, 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 uh, in detail, but in, in terms of sheer scale, it is certainly unprecedented. It, we've never seen this level of deception, this level of betrayal on this scale before. I agree, and this, this, this demonic push towards death and destruction. Looking at Hillary's psychology and talking to folks that know her, she's clearly a sociopath bare minimum. She's disconnected. She's pretty much running Obama on the show now. A lot of evidence shows from these emails. You know, the group behind her, Soros. Is there anything we can do to Hillary or Soros in communications? Because we know they listen and watch. They can shift them out of their craziness. I mean, I mean, is there any reason to even aim Infowar in a nice way to them and say, please don't destroy the world? Or does that just get them on more of a power trip? <laughs> Maybe that's wishful thinking on our part, Alex, to think that they would actually listen to us. But if I could sit down and tell George Soros, who's the real power behind the throne, one thing, it is back off because the it's not just the american citizenry it's the citizenry of the planet that he's going to be up against when when all this falls apart there there is 
uh, people have 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 become alert and awake to what's really going on, and we're not going to put up with our games anymore. It's just that simple. Oh yeah, there's a nuclear war. I mean, these people. <laughs> They're just so crazy, though. I mean, crazy Soros and his crazy kid that's taking it all over. He, uh, he, he's like all the internet, you know, bombed out of his brain in videos, acting like a moron. It's like, I can't believe the intelligence agencies and people are putting up with this. I mean, I know they're not perfect, but give me a break. You better look at your kids in the eyes, folks. We'll be back. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese-style net censorship was coming to the web, because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the Internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the Internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action. Seventeen days out. Seventeen days out. And as Nigel Farage points out, the big exclusive interview we've got coming up in the fourth hour with David Knights, who did the interview with him. We only heard like four or five minutes of it, and it's it's, it's powerful. But the whole interview is going to be aired. His warning to America. This is just the beginning of the fight, and and that's why the globalists realize their whole new world order is falling apart. The EU's falling apart. Russia's pulling out. The UK's pulling out. Catalonia's pulling out. Africa's figuring out what's going on. Uh, so much is Latin America, they're panicking. Their global system is in trouble because it's a system that wants to make us poor to control us. That's in the WikiLeaks. But, I mean, people are like, well, we always heard that from you anyways. Exactly, because it's in Cloward and Piven, and, and it's feudalism. It's keep you poor, keep you controlled. It's sharecropping. It's, it's soft slavery. Now, I'm not going to belabor this. Obviously, you need high-quality, storable foods. I've got them solar panel systems, you name it, InfoWarsStore.com, the highest quality storable foods, fresh packed, last 25 years. If you haven't got storable foods, you're nuts. If you don't have AM, FM, emergency radio, a shortwave that's crank powered, solar powered, you need one, we've got it. Non-GMO heirloom seeds, thyro safe in case of a nuclear attack, protect the thyroid. Our survival shield nation on X2. Gravity fed water filters. We don't sell firearms, you need them. And I'm not trying to fear monger here, folks. I sell what I take. I take super good selenium, we put it out. I, I take good iodine, we put it out. I take good multivitamins, we put it We fund ourselves with the highest quality products that everybody needs. And then you shop with the good guys and it builds this infrastructure and you see us hire more reporters, get more done, have Hillary and Obama attacking us every day now because we're in their face. We're not scared of these people. We're scared of them having their way. So thanks for supporting us. InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. We can avert all this and this brinksmanship because a lot of good generals and people in government are actually, and I've never been somebody to kiss the butt of the military or even the FBI, but as I got more informed and as the world changed, I've seen better resistance from police, the military, even FBI agents who are leaking stuff, Secret Service agents, than I've seen from the general public. I mean, that's just a fact.